Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a fragrance declutter, just a very relaxed video, going through a bunch of fragrances that I'm gonna be removing from my collection. As many of you guys already know, I have a huge collection. I have well over 300 fragrances and it's just too many. I don't get to wear the ones that are my absolute favorites. I forget that I have some, so I went through my collection and on the tray next to me. I have all the fragrances I'm gonna be decluttering, so I'll show you which ones they are and why I'm getting rid of them. And you guys may have noticed my very glam silk blouse, and this is from Lily Silk. This video is very kindly sponsored by Lily Silk, and they sent me this beautiful blouse, which I absolutely love. I love this little neck detail. It looks just like a tie. I love this color. They have the most beautiful silk attire and silk pillowcases, which I have been dying to get a silk pillowcase for so long because it's known to be the best thing for your hair. It's moisture wicking, it keeps the moisture in your hair, any moisturizing products that you've put in your hair or on your skin, because it's moisture resistant, it's supposed to be anti-aging, it's supposed to keep your moisture in your hair. So I have my silk pillowcases back there You'll see the two white silk pillowcases and I was so worried that the maintenance on them was gonna be like very high maintenance. Turns out, no, you can just wash them on low cycle and hand wash them. So I was really happy about that because I know that my man's pillow is gonna be looking like a war bandage in a couple days. So the fact that I can wash it very easily was a huge relief to me and I'm super pumped about my silk scrunchies as well. I've been wearing my silk scrunchies all week since I got them. I got a set of four. So this is perfect. I have been looking for the perfect silk, silk scrunchie and it's because it prevents the breakage in your hair. I hate hair elastics. I hate putting hair elastics in my hair. And okay, this one's a little big, but it's a set of four. I have one on the side there. This one's probably my favorite. Um, just because it's the perfect size for my hair. They're really, really good quality scrunchies. I've been wearing them all week, my other one that's on the side there, and it doesn't dent my hair. So my little trick that I like to do with my hair is I like to put it up, like I'll put it up like this, and I'll just like, I'll look really silly and I'll have it tied up here. And if I use the silk scrunchie, it doesn't dent my hair. So when I release it, I get the most beautiful wave in my hair. And so I've been obsessed with that silk scrunchie. Anyway, guys, Lily Silk is super affordable. Like they're not really expensive. They have the best quality silk at really affordable prices considering how good quality they are. So I'm gonna link everything for you guys down below. And if you guys wanna check them out, you can use my promo code, it's Yana12, and it'll give you 12% off your order. And yeah, definitely, if anything, like check out those scrunchies because literally I am obsessed. And the way everything comes packaged is super cute too. It comes in a box like this and really nicely packaged. I don't even wanna throw these boxes out. I wanna use them for organizing perfume samples because they're just the perfect size. So I will be holding on to those lovely boxes. I'm just frugal like that. I like to reuse my containers. Oh, and before I get into the declutter, I totally forgot. Big announcement, you guys. So I've decided that since I'm decluttering all of these, I'm gonna open a Poshmark account. So I've opened a Poshmark. I'm gonna link it in my description and I'll link it on my channel. So anything that I'm decluttering that I haven't already given to family, I will have on my Poshmark. So you guys can just get it from me. And I got the Poshmark because I got a PO box. So now I finally have a PO box. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to share samples with me and share different things. And so I finally have the PO box. So I'm super professional now. That's linked in my description box as well. So there you go. Those are my big, big announcements and more big things will be coming this year. And yeah, now let's get into my declutter. So. The first one that I will be decluttering is the scent from Hugo Boss. This is the scent for her. And the reason why I'm letting this go is just because it is a very, very basic peach smell. I have tried to wear this so much. Like I've had it for quite a while. I've had it for a couple of years. And this was one of the 
first fragrances that I added when I started to really blow my collection up and make it big. I really wanted a nice peach scent, a nice juicy peach, and I got this and honestly it just falls flat. It's a little boring. It's a pretty peach, but it is just quite boring. Like I tried playing with layering it and I layered it with wood sage and sea salt one time, which was actually quite nice, but Honestly, I have so many other fragrances that I love that I'd rather wear. So this one is going to be decluttered and there's only like less than half a bottle of this one left. And the next one is also a Hugo Boss fragrance and this is the Scent Absolute. This is supposed to have a coffee note, but this, I don't smell the coffee and this really just smells like a very, very generic, inexpensive women's fragrance. I just never am going to reach for this. I don't smell the coffee. I've been on the hunt for a beautiful coffee fragrance and this one just is not it and it also doesn't perform. It's very, very poor performance. And so yeah, I've, I've worn a little bit of this one as well and it's just not doing it for me. So goodbye to the scent absolute. The next one is a bit of a shocker because I actually really loved this fragrance at first sniff and this is 24 Fabourg from Hermes and this bottle is actually gorgeous. I was really on the fence about this one because it's a beautiful floral scent. It is so classy. It smells like you're just royalty at a ball and I guess I make that association because this was Princess Diana's uh, signature scent and that is the reason why I purchased it. However, there is a very bitter note in here that I just can't do. It just almost smells like a bitter stem of a flower and it on my skin it doesn't go away. There's a lot of beauty in this fragrance. It could be the highest scent, this, the highest scent Wow, let's try that again. The Hyacinth is very green and I like Hyacinth in a lot of fragrances. In here, a struggle. And so yeah, this one, just the way that it develops on my skin just isn't very flattering. And even though it's a very beautiful fragrance, I'm really sad to say I have to declutter it. And the next fragrance is Roberto Cavalli Paradiso. This is actually a very nice jasmine scent. It's very pretty. And it has a little bit of this like juniper cypress vibe as well. I like how it smells on here, but it does have a lot of synthetic notes. And again, it doesn't really perform very well on me. And I have nicer white floral fragrances that I'd rather reach for. Like I have a lot of other jasmines that I really love. Like for example, I have um, one from Sir Clutin called A La Nuit. That one's a really strong animalic jasmine. Like I like a bolder jasmine and I think that this one's just not bold enough. It's, you know, it's just, it's safe. It's a good cheapy. It's safe. It has some interesting touches to it, but it's just unfortunately, it's not doing it for me. So this one is gonna be decluttered. My dogs are barking something at the door and no one's supposed to be home right now. That's kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna go see what's going on. It was just Amazon. I watch too much true crime and I get super uncomfortable whenever there's someone at the door. So when they bark like that, I like, I always freak out, uh, low key. Anyway, it was just the Amazon man, all good. The next one that's gonna go is actually just my Narciso. This is actually a really beautiful scent and the reason why I'm decluttering it is because it gives me a massive headache. I absolutely can't wear this. I think I oversprayed it one time and it gave me a really bad headache and so every time after that that I've worn it, I've been very sensitive to it and it just, it gives me a really bad headache. The one that I prefer now over this one that can, I can wear very comfortably is the Narciso Poudre and the Narciso Rouge I just got and I really like that one as well. So this one's gonna have to go. Okay, the next one is actually Givenchy Hot Couture and this is the Eau de Parfum. This one, as you guys can see, is still in the box. I hauled it a little while ago. I wore it a couple times and it's just a very weird, like ashy um, raspberry smell. It, it doesn't wear nicely on my skin. It's it's just not it's just not very flattering. Like I feel like I smell a little bit dirty when I have this on. Like like unclean. Like it smells just a little bit like an ashtray. So unfortunately, I 
it's it's just it's not vibing smelling it out of here is pretty but it does it goes a little weird on my skin and i just don't like how it smells it just makes me smell unclean and unpleasant the next one that i'm decluttering is the giorgio armani c eau de toilette this one has freesia and black currant and that combination it it has a little bit of an ammonia type scent to it which kind of smells like cat pee so it just it's just not it's just not very good i do like the other c's better this is the only one that i have and i just can't wear it that weird note just doesn't go away and it does bother me so unfortunately even though it has potential it's gonna have to go the next fragrance I'm actually very sad to say goodbye to, and this is Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique Intense. I'm gonna spray it on a piece of paper because I really love how this smells. I really, really love how this smells. It's a beautiful, sweet orange blossom, tiare flower, vanilla, pomegranate, really, really nice. The problem is that it actually makes me break out in hives. I had it on my arm, I had sprayed it on my arm, I'm not even exaggerating, my entire arm was covered in hives. I had to take Benadryl for like two or three days for it to go away and so yeah, I'm scared to wear it again. So I actually am allergic to something in this and it has to go. But it does smell actually very beautiful and I know that it's supposed to smell a little bit like a, an Elizabeth fragrance. So maybe I'll get that one later and try again with another fragrance that has a similar scent profile. But that one, yeah, I just can't. So the next one that's going is actually the perfume oil of Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. I have tried to wear this. I've worn it a couple times and I keep it in the box just because I just don't wear it. It's a very boring, clean, fresh, but boring, musky peony scent. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's very simplistic though and it really doesn't last and it doesn't project like the longevity on this is really like half an hour so i just i'm never gonna use it the next one that i'm decluttering is calvin klein reveal and i got this on the 20 dollar rack at shoppers and i have made myself a promise that i will no longer be buying fragrances from the 20 dollar rack at shoppers because even though sometimes there's gems and if I see a gem, then I will buy it. But as a general rule, I'm not even going to stop by. I'll try to just walk past it. And yeah, this is just, it's a little bit of an aquatic, woody, salty scent. It's a good one for layering and I've used it for layering, but the performance really isn't there. I find the scent a little bit boring. I just think it's a really just light, woody scent. So I am gonna be decluttering it. Another woody scent that's gonna go is Majestic Woods by Juicy Couture. I wanted to try this one and it's a really unique fragrance from Juicy Couture. It smells a little bit like oud, um, just like this could totally be a men's fragrance. Honestly, I would say this is masculine despite the bottle. This is a very masculine woody scent and I would say this is a great kind of budget intro to oud and like that oudy wood scent profile for men i guess women like women too but for me honestly it's a little bit too masculine i do need to layer this with something sweeter uh rose i i like to layer this with like rose or jasmine but it's just on its own i i can't do it it's just too strong oudy type wood even though the notes actually don't show oud it has a very similar scent profile the other thing too is it's quite synthetic I've become very sensitive to Ambroxan lately and it has a lot of Ambroxan and it does kind of irritate my nose and I guess that's just what happens when you smell fragrances a lot your nose becomes a little fickle so my, anyway my nose is a little fickle. The next one that I'm going to be decluttering is the Montboussin Elixir pour Elle. This one is a sweet La Vie est Belle-esque fragrance. It's quite pretty and it actually layers really nicely with this Juicy but I just happen to not reach for it. I don't know, for one reason or another, I just forget that I have it. When I smell it out of here, it's quite pretty. It's a very like oriental woody scent. And I think this one actually does have a little bit of oud and vanilla. It's, it's nice. It's very nice. I just, for some reason, 
don't end up reaching for it. It could be that it's a little bit too sweet for my liking because I'm not really a huge fan of La Vie Belle, so maybe for that reason I'm not really reaching for it, but it's not a bad fragrance at all. It's actually a great budget fragrance, so I like it. I just, I don't wear it, so I have to let it go. The next fragrance is Parlez-moi d'amour from John Galliano, and this one's actually a really nice scent, but the reason why I can't wear it is because I wore it and my man told me that I smell like an old ant. And this is like a powdery raspberry scent. It's very powdery, there's heliotrope, very, very powdery, smells like a cream almost, uh, or like a baby powder type of uh, scent. And so I just can't, like after that, I can't wear this. I can't wear this because I think of being someone's old aunt. No offense to older aunts, but I just, he ruined it for me. But it does smell almost like a powdered raspberry, like a freeze-dried powdered raspberry. And I think it's a very pretty fragrance. I just can't wear it anymore. The next one I'm gonna be decluttering is Daisy from Marc Jacob. And this one I purchased simply because of the bottle. I love the white and gold. I think it's super cute and it was a good price, so I got it. My sister really loves this fragrance, so I think I'm gonna be giving it to her. There is a green note in the opening that I don't love, but it does smell a lot like Chanel Chanso Tendre, which I plan to add to my collection. So once that's added, I won't really have a need for this, and I know that she'll really enjoy it, so I'm just gonna be giving this to my sister Erica. And the next one is this particular bottle of Gucci Envy Me, and this fragrance is one that I used to really enjoy. I talked about it being one of my signature scents in the past. And this is a newer formulation. So this one looks like it's from 2017. And there is something off about this formulation. It's more of this like apricot smell. It's just not the way that I remember it. And so I actually purchased a used bottle off of someone on Kijiji that smells the way I remember it. It's a little bottle, but I'd rather have that and be th and have it be the scent that I remember and then I'll let this big one go just because this reformulation really it's not the way I remember it and it's not hitting my nostalgic spots and that's all I really want this fragrance for is just to be able to open the cap and smell it and remember back to when I started on my fragrance journey which was many years ago the next one I'll be getting rid of is from Frederico Mahora, and this is a dupe of Belle d'Afrique. And the reason why I'm getting rid of this is because I have the full bottle of Belle d'Afrique now, and I did a full unboxing, and I was super excited that I got that full bottle, so I no longer have a need for this. So I think this as well will be going to my sister because she really loved Belle d'Afrique. I gave her a decan and she loved it and even my mom loved it who absolutely hates every fragrance that I own. Somehow liked Belle d'Afrique, so this will be going over to them. The next one that's going is Marc Jacobs Honey and this bottle is almost empty. I purchased a partial bottle and yeah, so when I purchased it, it was probably about half full. I wore it a couple of times it's a clean pear scent, but it really makes me think of a bathroom freshener because I have a pear scented bathroom freshener and so sometimes this type of pear note makes me think of bathroom freshener. So I've actually been using it as a room spray and there's a teeny tiny bit left. So whatever's left in here is going. Next one is Lolita Lempica and this is the original. This is the vintage formulation. I just don't really like this type of scent profile, to be perfectly honest. I don't like this powderiness. This is the eau de toilette. This isn't very sweet. I do get a licorice note in here that I don't enjoy. I really don't like anise or licorice in a fragrance. I don't even like it as a snack. So it just, it bothers me. I don't really like violet either, that particular powderiness. And even though the bottle is super cute and I got it for a really good price at the time, I wore a little bit of it and it just doesn't suit me. I have other fragrances that are purple florals that I really enjoy, like for example, Chloe Love. That fragrance is beautiful and I'd rather wear that and let this one go. The next one I'm letting go is Yope Pour Femme. This was also a very affordable, um, really interesting fragrance. It smells very 80s, it smells soapy, it smells aldehydic, and a little animalic. I just don't really 
reach for this very much. The fragrance that I reach for that kind of reminds me of this is the original Coco from Chanel. So I have that one and I'd rather wear it on days when I want to smell classic and soapy-ish and aldehydic. And so this one I'm going to pass on to someone else who will enjoy it, but it is still a great budget find. The next one I'm letting go is this Simply Pink. This was actually a free gift with purchase on some online retailer that I that I purchased from in the past. It actually just kind of smells like hairspray, like a sweet hairspray. And I'm not going to be wearing it. So I actually have two of these and I'm not going to wear them. It's just a nice sweet fragrance and it just smells a little bit like hairspray. The next one that I'm getting rid of is a men's fragrance and this is Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas. This is a cheapy. This is actually the reason why I bought this was because um, Curly Sense really loves this one and I wanted a nice masculine aquatic and it's a nice clean aquatic but there's a couple fragrances that I prefer over this and I just don't really reach for it. My man doesn't really reach for it either. So I'm just going to be decluttering it. The next one is like, I literally saved the worst for last and it is Invictus Intense. And guys, again, I fell victim to the $20 rack at Shoppers. What was I thinking? I don't even like Invictus. I even made an Instagram post about this because I was excited because it's a high value-ish fragrance that was on the $20 rack and I bought it and I can't stand it. I actually really dislike it and I had to scrub it off like immediately when I wore it. I just really, really dislike this. I really dislike this. I don't like how it smells at all. It's very synthetic. It's very juvenile. It's not a pleasant scent. It's sweet and it's strangely salty. It's just not, it's just not good. I know that a lot of people really like this fragrance, but I just can't do it. So it's goodbye to Invictus. That concludes my declutter part one. So let's see how many fragrances are in here. So here are all of the fragrances that I'm going to be getting rid of and I counted and there are 22 in here. So that is it for today's video and part one of my declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please shimmy on down and hit that subscribe button and become a friend of the show and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Please let me know what fragrances you guys have been decluttering. Which fragrances are you surprised to see? in my declutter and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.